Well, I oversee three full-time staff, uh, Ann Hancock is in perennial gardens, Chris Knopfsinger is in charge of the annual trial gardens, and Jessica Albright is the education coordinator for the 4-inch children's garden. Uh, on top of that, we have about 12 students that we have full-time throughout the summer months. And then we carry six or seven through the winter months, you know, for the, well, for the gardens. Uh, we work outdoors, like I was telling you, through October, and if not later, and then we switch gears and go inside, you know, once the frost and snow comes along. Uh, a week and a half ago, we had our, what we call our garden day. It's a day-long event where we bring in some nationally known garden speakers. And actually, this year we had a speaker in the afternoon. She was a... Uh, uh, cook uh, does a lot of cookbooks and such. She's very entertaining, um, and so and then we also have a lot of workshops that the uh, the attendees you know go to. Um, and we bring in vendors that sell goods, garden goods in the in the head house. So I think we had about 350 people for that. Uh, weather's always a challenge. You know, see it's a little damp out here today, so that, that slows us up. We have to go inside and work. Uh, uh, we have lots of events here, uh, weddings. We have three, four we weddings a weekend. Yep, all starting early May and going up until football season. And then we try to sneak them in in between some of those non-football weekends. It, it's fun working with the students, you know, keeps you young, keeps you going. And, and just meeting the people, you know, I like meeting and greeting the people that come through. We have visitors from all over the country and, and Canada come by and many other, you know, foreign countries. Um, so that, that's a big part of the job too.